For alcohol cars, one way that you can really get a good reading on your tune-up and to see whether you're going rich or lean is to install an air fuel ratio gauge uh, like we've done in our car here. Uh, with alcohol, the, the, the perfect ratio of uh, 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 air to fuel is 6.4 to 1. Uh, what we've done is installed this gauge and then we have also installed under the accelerator pedal is a, um, a wide open throttle switch that, which is nothing more than a micro switch that when the pedal is pushed all the way to the floor it makes ground. On the back of the gauge is a brown wire and that brown wire uh, uh, is a, a make ground uh, wire. When you make ground with that brown wire, it then the gauge then records during the pass while you have wide open throttle what the peak um, uh, ratio is so that as you get near the end of the track, let's say on a wide open pass on a quarter mile, you can see if you're going lean or if you're rich and then you can make minor jet adjustments um, or pill adjustments. Uh, to get the car in tune. The air fuel ratio gauge is, is a pretty simple uh, installation. Uh, it has a, a, a wiring harness that comes with it. Uh, you've got a hot wire, ground wire, and then you've got a harness that goes back to an oxygen sensor. The O2 sensor uh, is installed into the collector of your headers with a, a bung. I'll show you that. And what it does is it's reading the exhaust or the amount of oxygen in the exhaust right here at this point in the header. And this is a, an O2 sensor that's made by NTK, which is part of NGK. Uh, it goes into the, uh, it actually fits right into the middle of the collector. Uh, one thing that can be a, middle, a little bit misleading is uh, with this style of header like this, uh, you cannot rely on the O2 sensors reading at an idle because the collector will take in so much outside air that it's not a true reading. You can never rely on it. You have to rely on your wide, op wide open throttle uh, readings. What we've did, done with our car is we had that ground wire, that brown ground wire, uh, also wired to an arming switch right here. And the purpose of that is a, we don't um, arm the switch until right before staging on a pass. That way it's not going to read the peak during a burnout, which again could be a false reading. You want to have that uh, reading of what your peak air fuel ratio is uh, down track on a full pass.